Hi, I'm Lisa Comfort from Sew Over It and today we're going to go through some sewing techniques. It's quite tricky to get accurate, so to start off with, you can draw around something circular like a penny so that you've got a guide. I'm also doing my eyelets very big so it's easy for you to see, but you can do eyelets as small as you want. I've taken two strands of my floss. And I'm going to come up on the circumference of my circle, it doesn't matter where. And then I'm going to do a back stitch around the edge. Then I'm going to repeat that back stitch. Coming up where I started and then going to go into the center of my circle and then come up again at the starting point. I'm going to go back in to my center and this time I'm going to come up a little bit further along and then I'm going to repeat the back stitch coming up to the start of my stitch and back into the center and back to the start of the stitch and back into the center and move along so you can see it's a repeat of four stitches again my back stitch two back stitches in the same place back up back into the center back into the center and then move along and it will build up like this all the way around and what happens is the more you go into the center you create a parting in the fabric that becomes a little hole. An eyelet stitch can be used for anything. It's very decorative. You can do uh, small ones and big ones. You could lay them up together. So you did a series of fill stitches in a shape. So say we had a much bigger circle, you could do lots of little eyelet stitches, different shapes and sizes, different colors, and it becomes very decorative. They are very time consuming, but they're very beautiful when they're done. And that's how you stitch an eyelet stitch.